I have been trying out a, a trans transdermal electrical stimulation thing, which is something that they suggest for people with treatment resistant depression. I've been really considering a lot of options because I, I just want to feel, you know, normal <laughs> to a certain degree, which it, it would be really great. I'm going to see if I can show you what it's like. It's a bit stingy and gross, um, but I'm still in the first, I'm in the second week of the, the electrical stimulation thing. Hopefully it's going to have some, some marked impact on my mood overall. I've tried doing this in the morning, but it just kind of leave my brain feeling a little bit hazy as, as it would. This is it basically. I'm not going to give the brand name if, if, if I haven't already. No, it should be good. I'm not going to give the brand name because I don't want it to be like a promotional thing or anything. I'm just letting you into like <laughs> my recovery journey, trying to fix my brain. It's supposed to release a small electrical wave basically into your prefrontal cortex, the front of your brain. It's shown some, some potential positives for people and I wanted to give it a go. And I have been for a while. The only thing is, it's a little bit stingy as well. It stings, just as you can imagine. So I got these, make sure not to show the brand <laughs> I got these, these pads that I'm supposed to put in on here, wet pads, and put them in these little container things here. And I always do this the wrong way. You're supposed to put, turn it on first and then put the pads on, but this is how my brain's working. Do the most, the most complicated part first. <laughs> Brain stimulation time. Okay. So these are the little, little electrodes thing that kind of goes on your head like that. It's good for me to do things while, while it's happening because it's not the most unpleasant feeling in the world, but it's kind of, at, at times, it's kind of a bit nettly sort of on your forehead. I'm not going to attempt to show you what I'm doing because... I am pretty sure that I will fail <laughs> if, if I try to like lift it up a little bit. There you go. So one of the pads is on. I like to be very open about my mental health and my own sort of recovery journey. And this is something that I want to try. I know it's not like the most, I don't know, tame thing that you can do. Just like zap your prefrontal cortex. But you know, I, there's there's other things out there for treatment resistant depression, and um, this is probably like the tamest one that I could find. So there we go. There's always like a wow, I look absolutely fabulous in this. <laughs> Here it goes. It's always like the worst, like the 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 tingle. I'm I'm talking about it like it's some horrible thing. It's just like a little tingly, stingy sensation. But the first bit's the worst, and the end bit's the worst. Like, during it, it's actually not too bad, but... Is it just me, or do the pads look like Hellboy, Hellboy's truncated horns? Yeah. I mean, if, if it was... If it was like Hellboy's truncated horns, I'd probably feel a little bit less silly putting this on. Is it, is it fired up yet? I, I, I'm, I'm almost... I'm halfway, just over halfway on my activation phase. So, I have to do it five days a week for 30 minutes. And then after that, I've got two days. I can do it two days a week. I think there's some some improvement. It's quite hard to tell. I probably should have started this outside of the the realms of my um what do you say illness. I think just just the fact that I've been ill kind of muddies the water on like whether it's having any effect or whether I'm just feeling a little bit better. Who knows? So. I can't really feel much. I can feel I can feel the the electricity when I focus on it. But when I'm not focused on it, I'm I'm good, you know. It's very strange. It's a strange feeling. It's got scientific evidence. I'm not just zapping my brain for the the hell of it without any evidence behind it. <laughs> but it's supposed to help with depression. So it's suggested as a potential option for treatment resistant depression. Does the brain zapper feel like anything? Like, can you feel it work? Yep. I can definitely feel it. It's, it's not, it doesn't like sting your brain because your brain doesn't actually have any 
like pain receptors, but it stings the surface of your skin. The electroconvulsion machine on your head looks odd and interesting, I'll give you that. It's a style choice, you know? <laughs> so future is um, it's an offshoot of cyberpunk. Elect electrical stimulator concept sounds very interesting, definitely gonna look into that. As I said, not a medical professional. Um, not making any recommendations. Um, just letting you, I, I've got to do it. I, you know, got to do it before bed in the night time. Just thought I'd show you guys what's what's going on. I'll, I'll be able to report fully once I finish my activation stage. I think the max that you can see if it works is about a month. Same as antidepressants, actually. So we shall see at that point. Hopefully there will be some positive impacts on my mood. If I'm able to actually tell, Alexa Fire Me makes it a little bit difficult to do that. As you will know. Transcranial magnetic stimulation. Hmm. Indeedy. TMS is definitely amazing, proven to absolutely have positive results for treatment resistant depression, but this device having might be much more accessible, similar thing. Yes. Yeah, the, the actual device that I have on. Uh, it, it is a medical, it's not just like something that I got from the internet, it's like a NHS machine that I've rented. So it's a, a proper thing, I'm being very careful about it. But yeah, you're right, you can have ones where it's like a, a whole surgery, and they put like electrodes into your brain and stuff. Don't think I'm at that point to which, oh, it's stopping. Ooh. Ooh-wee. Okay, we're done. I think. Pausing stimulation. I can feel it. It's like it goes over the, like the back of your neck. It's like, ugh. Ooh. Discomfort during the stimulation is normal, but it does get easier over time if you need to take a break and continue later. Using ice packs after stimulation helps reduce discomfort. Oh no, it's fine after. I'm fine with it after, it's just during. Ugh. Ugh. I've got a wet fringe. We're done. My brain is sufficiently zapped for the day. Got some of that positive electronic juices flowing. 